we're looking at the first untethered soft robot that is able to move around without rigid structural components. Nature is filled with examples of organisms that are very able to move around and be successful despite being either completely soft or at least partially soft. So we really wanted to challenge that notion of a robot as being this metal hunk and demonstrate something that can move about on its own with a completely soft body. It turns out they're very naturally um, robust to many specific challenges that a robot might face. We took this guy out in basically a winter snowstorm here in New England, and it turns out that the whole system operates very well at low or high temperatures. These silicone rubbers are very naturally resistant to flames. As we had him walk underneath a car, you can drive directly over the legs. Without harming the robot at all, it can get up and walk away. So first what's going to happen is it's going to arch its spine to lift the legs into a position where it can actually walk and then it's going to start actuating the legs sequentially to move. What I would really like to see is I would like to see soft robotic systems like these that are perhaps a little bit more optimized um, be able to do things like search and rescue. Going into a collapsed building or perhaps some sort of dangerous environment after the, the disaster in Japan and Fukushima, robots were crucial to be able to go in there and figure out what's going on without exposing humans to those kinds of conditions. These types of, of robots are really good at dealing with chemical contamination, um, flames, all sorts of conditions that you wouldn't want to send a human in for.